All right, we're going to do a quick walkthrough on how to install the plugin. First, we're going to go to a pin messages in the Discord channel and go to the first message here, and we'll have the download link down here. Um, we've got the GitHub page, it will pop open. Scroll down to the bottom to the assets a section, and you'll see here it says uh, we want for most everybody, you're going to want just the plain old Windows version a canary is for uh, people who are on the test version of discord mac os and linux of course all right uh, so we're going to click that download it we're going to wait for it and when it's done we can just click it touch portal should automatically initiate the install um it actually popped it on my top screen here do you want to import yes i do and again, on the top screen, it's giving me this notification. Um, do you want to allow it? Yes, always. I do want to allow it. And then it also popped up there, which I'm sorry you didn't see it. Plugin successfully imported. All right, so where is Touch Pro disappeared on me? There it is. And okay. as such, I have mine here, like such. And then from here, we're going to create a new application. We're going to name it, in this example, you can name it whatever you want, we're going to name it Touch Portal Plugin. Yes, I agree. You may or may not have this team section. This is just due to me being part of a developer team as well. Uh, here, we don't really need to do anything yet. Uh, we're simply just going to go into the OAuth tab, and we're going to add a redirect. And it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash localhost that's it nothing special um, whenever we click off of that down at the bottom here you're going to see it says uh, save changes okay make sure that you click that that's really all we need to do generally speaking now we're going to copy our client oh i'm sorry we're going to copy our client id here all right then we're going to open up touch portal and we're going to paste our client ID right up there okay now we're gonna go back and we're going to over here our client secret Do you want to regenerate yes because we haven't even used it yet so yes give me a new key now it's gonna ask me for an authentication code in which case I'm gonna pull that up um, 032470 all right now we're good we got my client secret I'm gonna copy that okay I'm going to go back into Touch Portal. I'm going to paste it in there and then I'm going to hit save. Okay. At this point, it's going to pop up this and say, hey, uh, do you want to authentic or approve this? And then just say yes. And your setup should be done. Now you can go to your Discord sample page that you may or may not have downloaded and um, test it out. You know? So here, I will actually bring open Discord. Put it right here. Uh, and then I will bring Touch Portal over. And this is the mute button, and I'm gonna uh, Alt click it with my mouse. Okay, it looks like it did not authenticate properly, so what we can do is stop it. I mean, it, it seemed like it did. We're gonna stop it and start it again. And here, because that popped up, that's telling me that something went wrong. Okay. So we're going to go ahead back in here. And we are going to make sure we got this correct. Okay. It looks fine. We're going to copy this code again. Let's make double sure we got everything correct. Get rid of that key. Reset it again. Yes. Thank you. Uh, save it. And... Not yelling at me again. Okay. I'm going to go back to my page. Not working. Okay. So... This did not happen a little bit ago. Gonna do a reboot of Touch Portal. Alright. 
appeared on me again it keeps on floating off my other screen. If that ever happens to you and touch portals like off, off the screen, you can alt tab, click it up on your alt tab thing and then use um, windows, shift key and then an arrow and it will move it from monitor to monitor in case it's snuck on another one of yours. All right, that's telling me it's not working. So, oops, I go back over here, load up touch portal. Now I'm going to alt click. And there it is. It's working. So the plugin just need a reboot for it to work there. That doesn't always occur, but in this case it did. Or I'm sorry, Touch Pro need a reboot. Um, otherwise, nothing needed besides just copying over the the key and making sure your local host is set. Uh, as long as you do that, everything should be fine. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to pop in the Discord channel here um, and ask and me or Spider-Man will be glad to help you or any other moderator that might be available. Um, happy touch portaling.